Lord, I thank you.
Oh, is it? Light there? Yeah. Is there a sound of that? Yeah. No, Fiona. <laughs> Give us more for and that was there. <laughs> Yeah, 
Sounds all right going down. I think got going. Do you want to Thank 
the best mine that we ever made. You guys on the road, right? You don't have to make me up. Now you're going to
Are we are we not <laughs> on the floor line? <laughs> Hello, Jamala <laughs> Khan. Hello, Aoife. Did they really dance or something? Oh, Mark. Mark. Hello, Aoife. Hello, Mark. <laughs> He's five months next week. Hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hi. Hello, Hi. 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 Oh my god, it's has got a big belly. Oh, Richard has a big belly. Oh, this class. Oh, 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 Hello, Teresa. Hello, who's that? How are you? Look at the shoes. Oh. <laughs> 
So Lisa, your trip was okay? You're just going to go <laughs> the city, probably <laughs> <from the lake. laughs> <laughs> slightly quieter than London. Hello, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I like it. Um, what is it? Neither of them are quiet. Oh, sorry, Jill. There's none. Cowbell and then the field, and that's a bit of it. Yeah, I know of it.
Oh, here we go.
Just this is just this way.
short practice the other day and I said to Father, and this is actually just tells you how much, how much of a teacher I ever was. I said to her, whatever you do, she's standing, you stand, and she's sitting, you sit, and she's kneeling, you knee. The first thing he does, he sits down and left her standing, all we're in summer for the rest of the day. You know, if there was 500 here, you wouldn't have seen what I saw. You wouldn't have experienced what we just experienced. Because we would have a different sense of ourselves. But because we're familiar and small, we can actually express ourselves in, in the most honest manner. We can show the truth of the enormity and the impression that this sacrament offers to this lovely young couple. So we're grateful for the moments that we're going to witness and experience. What you bring today 
we want to think about it for a second. We know what Father and Fanula do. They bring each other. What you bring yourselves, keep that to yourselves and bring it to God in these few minutes. But I would ask you also maybe just to offer this warm-hearted, full-hearted prayer for them, that they may continue in happiness and growth and mature in the love that they have for each other with God with them. For one of the things that I know about love is this, it needs to be shared. And if you share it fully, then you all know, as I know, that there's always somebody different or bigger than us, prompting us, directing us, guiding us, and the somebody I put the name on is God. So let's begin. And if you look at the introductory writing in your booklets, you may have a booklet there. It's with the, the lighting of the candles, which we did, and we have the lovely procession in, which we've done. So let's just take a moment to compose ourselves for those who had a fry this morning at nine o'clock, you know, for those who are hungry, for those who have other thoughts, let's just Sorry. bring ourselves into this loving presence of God that we know and seek forgiveness for the times we failed to show up. We pray. Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for Fanula and Pavel. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love this day. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love, for we ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And can I ask Vincent and Sinead to come forward to lead us in the word of God. A reading from the book of Tobit. Now you feel no rain for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you feel no cold for each other, you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no loneliness for each of you will be a companion to the other. <coughs> now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to <coughs> enter into the days of uh, your togetherness and may your day be good good and long upon the earth. Uh, the word of the Lord. Even though the mist burns in the Thank you. 
reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Romans. Let your love be genuine and sincerely prefer good to evil. Love one another with great affection and have profound respect for each other. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up if difficulties come and keep praying. Think of the needs of others. Seek to be passionate and kind, humble and patient. Be tolerant with one another and be ready to forgive. And on top of all these, be loving, because love binds everyone in your heart, and be thankful. Whatever you do or say, we do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments and remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to be seated just for a moment. When a day like today unfolds for everyone, myself included, you are at some stage prompted to memory days gone by or experiences of relationship and so on and so forth. I'm trying to be somewhat unique in thinking and whatever all week, knowing that there were two weddings today and a couple of other items as well on the timetable. I, I, I was trying to figure out what would I offer to this group and then what would I offer to the next group, as you would do. And having had the short practice we had the other night or the other day, I came to this, I suppose, anecdote that came to mind in my own experience. And I've told it recently, actually, so it was, it's obviously it's prompted a thought process. Well, there was a, a couple I knew, they were at university with together at about 18, they met each other. And stayed together through their university days and in the days afterwards. And for the period of time that I knew them, which was eight or nine years, at about the ninth year they decided that they'd get married. But they had their own ways. Uh, they lived in each other's company day and night, taught in the same school, went, he picked her up and took her to school 
put home together and dropped her home and so on and so forth. There was eight, nine years of this, having been in university and so on. It's a good thing there isn't 500 here because one is enough to keep you. <laughs> 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 I'm, trying to, I'm try, trying to stay focused yeah. on the tunnel. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the two of them just came to me and said, Look, Stephen, we're thinking of getting married. I said, Well, it's about time. Oof. And uh, would you do the wedding? I said, Well, I was hoping to go as a guest and not have to work. No, 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 we'll go to Rome. Right, says I. Not a bad way of going, so saying that's a week's holiday, it's never so bad. It turned out it was only three days, but that was okay too. So we went to Rome, and she, her father was very unwell at the time, so she could only take her mother. So her mother was the bridesmaid, and his mum and dad came as witnesses as well. So there's five of us in St. John's Chapel, and lovely, beautiful Roman day. And again, there was 12 or 14 weddings. We were slotted in, as you do. It's, like a, it's just a very popular spot. Short, short aisle, maybe about eight seats. You can picture it. Her and Mammy are walking up, just as Brendan and Panula did. And you can, I can still see her. She comes to there. Mammy shakes hands with husband to be. She steps back, stands there. Her ladyship steps forward and looks at him and says, I don't do ironing or flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and that set the whole tone. <laughs> Nine years together, they had all the conversations in the world and his jaw dropped and they'd never had that conversation. <laughs> She'd held it and it set the, the most wonderful tone. We had a ball. <laughs> we had a ball. We laughed the whole way through the ceremony, but she understood in that moment how to relate to him and how to give him something unique. And that's what he loved most about her. Mm -hmm. And I saw that in that brief glimpse of humor and personality. And that was what was shared. And that's why this, just as you witnessed there, what Fanula and Pava shared with us, their entrance moment was exactly the same. It got every one of you. Did you notice that? <laughs> it hit every one of you, not here, right there. The, the importance of what this was for them, and you can take it out and expand on it. And that's my point, I suppose, at the beginning. A lot of times, in the current context of the world that we're living in, there's no room for God. And I don't know why. At times in my own life, there's no room for him either. But I always come back to but the reason why I would say this, it's only when you love someone, when you genuinely offer yourself to another person and grow with them, there is always that sacrament, that out, outward sign of what's going on inside you. You show it, you smile, you cry, you hold hands, you lean in. But you also know that there's something, a dimension of the spirit there. You can almost touch God in the other person, but you can't. You can almost sense God's presence, but you, you know what you don't. You know, that constant journeying that you find together where you say, were you thinking that? Were you, did you see that? I always attribute that to the presence of God. That almost shadow, subconscious, whatever moment, variance is the word. It's kind of like a frequency. It's just there that you just can't dial into fully. Hold tight to that. Allow that to grow with you. Because the more maturing of love is, the more God becomes present. And the reason why we as a Christian Catholic community cherish man, the reason why we do it, is because you become a witness to God in a way that nobody else can. You show God to those around you by the love you have for each other. And that's a mighty, mighty gift. Anything you want to say? <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> so nice. And then, you know, with that in mind, let's just go further into the sacrament and express it together. And let us allow allow us to witness your sacrament. Will we? Mm -hmm. Fair and shame, would you join us? There you go. Okay. Okay. Can you have the ring?
No. Oh, yes. No. My dear children of God, you have come to this church so that the Lord may see your love in my presence, in the presence of your families and friends. Christ blesses your love. He has already consecrated you both in baptism. Now, by this special sacrament, he strengthens you both to fulfill the duties of your married life. Fanula and Pather, you are about to celebrate this sacrament. So I ask you, have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? We, we have. have. Will you love and honor each other in marriage all the days of your lives? We, we will. will. And are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church? We are. We are. I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. Father, if you actually don't know, it's a simple one we're going with. Okay. Father, do you take Fanula as your wife, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health all the days of your life? I do. Fanula, do you take Father as your husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health all the days of your life? I do. What God joins together. I'm going to take one hand and put it on top of the boat. And that there is my father. What God joins together may man not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have both given each other and with his blessing. Lord, bless Lul and Father and consecrate their married life. May these rings be a symbol of their faith in each other and a reminder of their love for each other. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's the smaller one. Same for the father. Fanula, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. Go ahead. Go ahead. No point in being gentle around here. Off you go. Fanula, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. Faithful love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, the and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, <laughs> wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> You know, traditionally there would be this moment where you get a chance to kiss the bride. I wouldn't like to deny you that. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what I'm going to ask you both to do is, I mean, if you do exactly as you did the last time, but go to the back of the table. If you could leave from the back of the table, and we'll light a single candle. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you were to go oh sorry
We pray for Fenula and Peder that the love, happiness and respect they share today will deepen and sustain as they share their journey to have life together. They will be blessed with courage, peace, sound judgment and a sense of humour in facing the challenges of life and that their joys far outweigh their troubles. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank God for the gift of wonderful parents like Brendan, Nula, Kevin and Julie, who devoted so much of their lives to the well-being of their children. May they continue to act as a source of love and support. May they be blessed for their devotion and generosity. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. We pray for those nearest and dearest to Fnun and Peather, their extended families and many good friends who have guided, comforted, shared and supported them through their joyful and sad moments. May they always appreciate the value of true friendship. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. Fnun and Peather's wedding brings us all together in a spirit of joyful celebration and happiness. May we learn to recognize and appreciate the joyful and positive moments which every day offers us. Lord, grace hear us. Lord, hear us. In a special way, we cherish the memory of those who have died, especially Pater and Fanula's grandparents. May the Lord continue to comfort, comfort us by the strength of their presence today and always. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. Father in heaven, these are the prayers we bring to you this day. They are spoken aloud, but we also ask you to hear those that are in the corners of our hearts and to grant them as only you can through your beloved Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated as we have our offertory gifts. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings we have made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son. For in him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed man and woman by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you might make them partakers of divine nature, and joint heirs with him in heavenly glory. In union of husband and wife, you have given us a sign of Christ's loving gift of peace, 
so that in the sacrament we celebrate, it might draw us back more and more deeply into a wondrous, the wondrous design of your love. And so with the angels and the saints, we praise you and without end acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we now pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and to bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Larry, our Bishop, and all your clergy and people. Be mindful also, Lord, of Fanula and Pather, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all here too, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand and pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Bless this marriage as Fanula and Pather begin their journey down this road of life together, we pray. May they respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams and fears, even though they, are not always, they may not always understand each other. May they rest in the knowledge that no matter what happens, by holding on to each other, things will work out for the best. Most of all, dear God our Father, help them to keep the touch of love burning with the fire that they now share in their lives. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your heavenly banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. You may be seated.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Oh, my God. 
And maybe we'd ask John to come forward to read the reflection after communion. For two people, this dawn brought on a magical day. Now husband and wife, they head on their way. As a boat setting sail, may their journey begin with calmest of waters, most helpful of wind. And if you should stumble upon turbulent sea, may it pass them unharming, leave them be. For here are two people whom love has well bitten, here opens their book, which is yet to be written. As the first page unfolds and their life inks its path, may it write a true story where forever love lasts. Let their journey be happy till death do their part. Of 1,000 chapters, may this be the start. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the power of the sacrament we have received may find growth in your servants, Fanula and Pather, and that the effects of the sacrifice we have offered for them may be felt by us all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God, the Almighty Father, grant you his joy, and may he bless you in your children. Amen. May Jesus, the Son of God, in his mercy, help you in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always fill you with his love. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. We now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. But just in these few minutes before we have our exit procession, we're going to sign civil documents, and we'll do so here at the front. I just need maybe Shane to give me a shot on. You're busy there, so we'll just move a few things around. And Teresa's ready there anyway, so this is. Just right there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, sorry, I'm going to the inside. Yes. Can you just fix my unstanding on? Go again. Oh, you're on the veil again. Stand again. Again. Oh. Right, yeah. Surely. Oh. Thanks very much. Well done. Thank you. 
Dude, get over here. Sorry. Here, me and woman. Kiss me. No, oh, sorry, Pat. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. congratulations. I say. Congratulations. No problem. Uh. Oh. That, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you look gorgeous. Oh, oh my god, it's emotional. I know. <laughs> right. oh, oh, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. Oh, you got lipstick on you. 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 I know. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the glasses, everybody. It's an everyday look. Hi. Hey. Well, well, congratulations. Congratulations. You just brought makeup all over your bloody shirt. Your shirt? Cheers, guys. Oh, did it? Thanks. Yeah. All right, John. Thank you. <laughs> so way have been told. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for doing it. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Jono. Officially, there, nearly. Almost. Thank you. 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 Sorry? Mom has her car here. Yes. She can put the virus up there or the pickup truck. I have a damn idea that would be a bit. Just No, I'm going back into the chapter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just not sure if she wants to chat to these people for a minute first. Yes, yeah. You want me to be able to know what the factory is? The Noah McRae's engineer was the next entrance to be signed for Quick Lock Lake. It's in there. It's all the way down the very bottom of it. I'm going to write here for... Yes. For... Okay, Claire. Yeah. If you want to... Okay. Okay. And the guitars. Um, and four. Yeah. And the circus. No, the the Lord made a Yeah, yeah. The circus. You can just get the singer. And the priest, the circus, the, the singer, and the guitar. There's four.
It's going to house anyway. Oh, right. Is that still on? I'm sure. 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 I'm sure.